Hi, this is Carl Opson at the University of Arizona. This is CERB 590 Single Case Research Design. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the template you've created for your AB single case research graph and use it to create a withdrawal design graph. Right? So if you remember, we laboriously went through the process of creating this AB graph. Then we learned how to save it as a template. We saved it as AB chart. Then we came over to this other set of AB data and we could use our AB chart template to pretty quickly put this graph together and have it look and really sharp. So can you do that with AB, AB? You sure can. So let's give that a shot and see what it is we have to do and how to fix it. So the first thing you would do again is highlight just your data. Okay. Whoops, I didn't highlight the treatment integrity data. Let's get target behavior, replacement behavior, and treatment integrity. Okay. Then we want to insert a chart. So we're going to go to recommended charts. We want to go to all charts. We want to use our fancy template, the AB chart template. And let's say, yes, that's what we want. Let's drag it out big so we can see what we're doing. So you can see there's going to be a little more to fix here. It looks like there's lines all over the place, but really, You've just got your target behavior and your replacement behavior. Um, and they flip here. And then after the B phase goes on to the 12th session, between the 12th and 13th session, um, they, they do a withdrawal back to the A phase and then after the 15th session, they go back to the B phase. So let's see how we can fix all of this up. First, we're going to have to get this target behavior and replacement behavior arrows out of the way. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put this one yet. How about I'm going to think I'm going to end up putting it here. But we'll just we get it out of the way for now, someplace where it looks like it might work. Replacement behavior, I'm going to move that one to right here. The next thing I'm going to do is take and move this condition line over here. And I think it is. Nope. So this is the wrong spot where we really want the condition line is right here because they switched over from baseline to intervention after the sixth session, right? Between the sixth and the seventh session. So we got to put the lines back between five and six for both the replacement and the target behavior data series. So if you remember, you click once, you click again to isolate the data point past the break. And then you say, I want a solid line there. And you make sure that it's going to be black and that it is the weight that you want. Let's do the same thing with this one. Let's put it back. Let's click it once, click it twice so that it is isolated and say you want a solid line. OK. Now let's put in all the breaks. So we're going to put in a break here. We're going to click once. And it was already on that data series, so it's going to highlight that individual data point. And we will say no line there. Same thing down here. Click once, click twice, no line. 
then let's see where that is where they went from baseline to intervention how long did they go to in intervention they switch back between the 12th and 13th so you want to go to 13 click once click twice no line 13th data point for placement behavior click once click twice and say no line the last thing they did was flip back into intervention and they did that between the 15th and 16th data points so we're going to go to 16 click once click twice no line click once click twice no line then we have a stray line here because these treatment integrity data points were or, or values were right next to each other in the column it's drawn a line between them so let's get rid of that line because treatment integrity doesn't have lines drawn between it so we're going to click once click twice say no line all right looking pretty good let's get this condition line over here at this break and at this third break if you remember you can draw a line again by going to insert shape get yourself a line and draw it here and here or you can use our magic power keys so highlight this line and in the bottom left corner of your keyboard hold down the option control and shift and you'll see a little a little plus sign show up next to your arrow that means it's going to copy it and move it and it's also going to constrain the direction of it right? you can't turn sideways on you so we made one then let go with your mouse and then hold down again click again and pull it's going to do it again as long as you've held those keys down all right so then we've got these pieces in place it's looking pretty good um, let's do the same magic with our um, condition titles so we need it to sit also say baseline over here let's move this one though let's move this one over to here all right um, we need another baseline so we're gonna we're gonna click on the outer arrow out outer section of this we don't want the little ants running around we just want it solid and then if you hold down the three magic keys the option control and shift and drag all the way over to your other baseline area your other baseline condition do the same thing with intervention you see i click once i've got these little dots don't want that i want to click again on it so that i'm in the outside area and it's solid then if i hold down the three magic keys option control shift it's going to draw it perfectly over as a copy into that last section um, the only other thing i need to do here is change the chart chart title um, we can see this is cindy Ooh, catch up with me there we go cindy's um, transition behavior and we are working with sessions could be sessions maybe it's days maybe it's trials that you're working with um, over here this is um, percent intervals it doesn't say that but I know that's what this data is and I need to spell that correctly Right. there we go 
And I think that's got it, right? What do we have? We got our titles correct. Um, we have our condition labels. We have our condition lines. We've got the breaks in the proper place. And it really didn't take all that long to fix all that up and have a really nice withdrawal graph set up. I've left you uh, another place where you can try that out if you want to. I hope you will. Um, in the meantime, if you have any questions, make sure you get hold of me and I'll see you again online. Okay, bye-bye.